you know, last night was a historic night for DJ Academics. He streamed with a bunch of people watching him. Clips were going all over social media, going viral, getting a ton of views. Got people talking more about this Gucci third leg. Him and Aiden Ross both did an interview on stream with not only Mr. Third Leg himself, but the woman in question, Danae Davis. There was one little caveat to this whole thing. He was streaming this whole thing on Twitch. Don't stream with somebody who's been deplatformed which this resulted in twitch banning academics because of said stream the guy by the name of dj head that's a crazy name with the discussion that we're in saying stay on stream i will i'll be back streaming tonight on youtube at 8 p.m eastern for another seven hours with over 17,000 watching concurrently the whole time anyhow how is your podcast views looking though probably can use a kendrick lamar and stimmy and academics was sharing his accolades recently, calling out people who was mad quiet when this stat about him being the ninth biggest streamer watched in North America in the third quarter of this year. Academics is an idiot for this. Why would you stream on Twitch with Aiden Ross? If he was going to do that, he should have been streaming this whole thing on YouTube and Rumble instead of YouTube and Twitch. Now, granted, I don't know if this is just a temporary ban or a perma ban. I, I don't think it would be, but... If anything, it's a slap on the wrist to remind academics, don't. They're going to eventually ban you too. And all that hard work is going to go up in smoke just because you want to get a stream up. I get it. Clips going viral. They went viral because of it. You had mad people watching you on YouTube, but it's going to come off like you don't care about Twitch no more. Keep in mind, academics does have a history of platforming people who are demonetized. Where you see, he has done videos with Myron Gaines who has since been demonetized from YouTube, you gotta start to ask yourself, are these risks worth taking? Because if you keep going down this rabbit hole, you're gonna join them too, either getting banned or demonetized. And I wouldn't wanna see academics get demonetized after all his hard work he's put in into building his brand up. Now people could say, well, he's made all this money over the years, it ain't gonna really affect him. And while that may be true, and he has a rumble deal that's probably feeding him millions, but eventually that said rumble deal is going to have an expiration date because at the end of the day, no matter what, you're supposed to do whatever it takes to protect the brand that you build up. Because otherwise, if you don't, it's gonna come off like you don't care anymore and you don't need the people who helped you get to where you're at. Because if I'm being honest, more people would probably rather watch academics on YouTube and Twitch other than Rumble. Not saying people don't watch them on Rumble, but if people had to choose just over simple preference, YouTube and Twitch, and of course, within the confines of the rules. Wayne said it best, too much money ain't enough money. But y'all let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Till next time, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.